Moments ago, the call to post from Rich Bird for race three. Here are the trotters. Number one, Delphi's Oracle, Joe Swartz and Trooper. Number two, Ball Doyle with Peter Wren. Number three, Bar K Victory, Kevin Sizer. Number four, Doorbuster with Mike Zeller. Number five, Amy Raj, Troy Boring. Number six, Nobody's Nightmare with Pete Stewery in the bike. And with the trotting hobbles, as usual, number seven, Keystone Canyon with Roger Hammer. A conditioned trot post time in five minutes from now. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Keystone Canyon is first away on the far outside. Barque Victory is there from the inside, and Doorbuster comes away between those two, right up close to that early pace into the first turn. Then Ball Doyle, Amy Raj, then Nobody's Nightmare is further out still and caught very wide on the first turn. Then Delphi's Oracle is going to drop in at the back of the pack as they trot toward the quarter. And Keystone Canyon, who left so well on the far outside, has made the lead and is now over against the rail in 30 seconds, on top by a length and a half to Bar K Victory, who trots second. Doorbuster third, Ball Doyle fourth, Amy Raj fifth, and then Nobody's Nightmare is going to find cover, trotting in sixth position, and Delphi's Oracle seventh and last. That field of trotters now all stringing out single file as they trot toward the half-mile mark, and Keystone Canyon guides the way. That one has the lead by a length to Barquet Victory. Ball Doyle has broken stride. He drops way out to the back of the field. Ball Doyle does on a break. The half in 59-3. and three. Here comes Doorbuster now. He's off the rail from third. He's trying to catch Keystone Canyon, who has the lead by just a length. Then Doorbuster, then Barque Victory tucked away. That one now is third. Amy Raj trotting up a closer fourth on the outside behind Doorbuster. Those first four tightly clustered at the three-quarter. Nobody's Nightmare fifth is on the outside, about three and a half lengths off the lead. Then she's got Delphi's Oracle to her inside, and Paul Doyle is last after a break. Doorbuster is up alongside of Keystone Canyon. Amy Ross third. Barque victory needs room in 130 and four. Nobody's Nightmare is fifth on the far outside. A five-way scramble with Nobody's Nightmare trotting strongly in the center of the racetrack. Nobody's Nightmare trots to the lead. Doorbuster, Barque victory up the inside. And Barque victory comes to the front with Nobody's Nightmare. A two-way battle to the line. Nobody's Nightmare, Barque victory. Nobody's Nightmare gets it by a head. Barque victory second, and Delphi's Oracle came on to get third. That's a photo for the win. Hold all tickets. Photo for the win. The time, 2.01 and 2. Buddy's Nightmare was first. Number three, Barque victory was second. Number one, Delphi's Oracle third. 6-3-1 unofficially. Number six, Nobody's Nightmare finished first. A lucky Almerhurst, Ohio sired performer. Owned by Single Stables and William L. Bates of Florida and Ohio. Pete Stewery, the trainer driver of the now official winner of the Wisconsin Harness Horse Fans race for today's card. The 6-3 exacta, $65.80. And we'll take a look at the Daily Double in just a moment. That would be a 3-6, and that Daily Double combination is worth $86.20. Race 4 is coming up. You've got 11 minutes to post. Put Brian Barnes down to drive the 4. Doc Darnell, scratch number 8. Napoli Hanover is scratched. Track remains sloppy.